Little Big Planet 2, abbreviated as LBP2, is an upcoming puzzle platformer video game centered around user generated content. The game is developed by Media Molecule, published by Sony Computer Entertainment Europe for PS3, and was originally scheduled for release November 2010, but was delayed until January 18, 2011. Unlike the first game, which is marketed as a platform game, Little Big Planet 2 is being marketed as a platform for games. It is a, di a direct sequel to the critically acclaimed 2008 title Little Big Planet, and the third game in the series following a PSP version released in 2009. Most of the more than 3 million levels created by users in the first game will carry over and be playable and editable in Little Big Planet 2. Players continue Sackboy's journey after the events of the first game, and the portable version are brought to an end. An interdimensional vacuum cleaner appears over the skies of Little Big Planet and begins to suck up its inhabitants, including Sackboy. Larry Da Vinci, the leader of a semi secret, semi organized group known as the Alliance, come to Sackboy's rescue, saving him from what they call the Negativitron. The organization is dedicated to battling with the Negativitron and defeating it before it destroys Craftworld. While still retaining the three layer 2.5D nature of the original title with the player controlling their Sackboy characters, players are not restricted to solely platforming levels, and can now choose to create many types of levels including racing, puzzle, and role playing games. The player may also choose to create and customize their own heads up display to accommodate their game type. New animation recording options are available, and players will be able to create full motion cutscenes to go with their level design, manipulate the camera for both cutscenes and gameplay, and record their own sound effects for use in the level. As well as including a wide selection of original and licensed music, the game also includes a robust music sequencer. Multiple levels can be linked together so that finishing one level immediately takes the player to a next in the series. A new tool to assist in the gameplay creation is the Controlinator formerly the direct control seat. This allows players to assign specific actions such as button presses or six axis motion control to specific aspects of the gameplay design. Players are not restricted to using the direct control seat on level elements, however, and they may use it to direct the actions of the player's Sackboy character, allowing greater freedom of movement. Media Molecule made the design choice in response to a large number of homage to the early platforming games, in which players had to hide and manipulate the Sackboy character in specific ways to replicate the style of gameplay. In addition to this tool, more gameplay items similar to Metal Gear Solid Paintball Gun released as downloadable content will be available during a grappling hook, the Creatinator, a hat, which is worn by Sackboy and can be configured by the creator to fire any object, and the Grabinators, which allow Sackboy to pick up and throw grabbable objects. Media Molecule plans to regularly update the game with fur further items. Enemy creation has also been improved. Players can now create sackbots, which are non-player characters whose AI has been controlled by the level creator. Options include determining weak points on the sackbots, as well as programming routines for the AI to follow. Sackbots can be customized using cost cost costumes and decorations in the same way that the player character is, and the AI for may be copied and pasted between multiple sackbots. Sackbots may also be controlled by the aforementioned direct control seats. All downloadable content for the first game will be usable in the sequel, and will most user-made levels from Little Big Planet. The online community of the game will also be improved with the creation of LBP2M. The website. From there, website. from there, players may synchronize with their PlayStation Network IDs in order to check statistics on their own levels, as well as find new levels from their community where they can queue them, ready to play with their PlayStation 3 and other friends. Further to the official community website, improved API features means that scoreboards and photos taken within the game can be displayed on a player's website or blog. Website owners may also use the API to add live feeds and data from the game itself. Creators will also be able to generate QR codes for their levels. When scanned by a compatible device such as a mobile phone, they will provide a link to the level on lbp.m, or will take the user directly to a level if scanned in-game using the PlayStation Eye. <clears throat> Little Big Planet 2 Story Mode demo was available as a free download from the PlayStation Store December 21, 2010. Uh, the reception. It has received universal acclaim from critics. PlayStation Official Magazine gave you in the UK gave Little Big Planet 2 a perfect 10 of 10. They praised the redesigned creation tools as a simple to grasp, all with huge potential, and said that game overall was hugely improved of the original. IGN's Greg Miller scored the game 9 of 10. He compliments the amount of variety that's been found in Little Big Planet's 2 story mode, and goes on to commend the new creation tools, stating that the focus of creating games in the game really shines through, referring to the new tool sets as mind-boggling deep. 
Miller does, however, reserve some criticism for the same frustration for the first game, which is still present in the sequel, such as floaty jump controls. Eurogamer also scored the game 9 of 10, commenting on its achingly pretty visuals and looking optimistically on the game's community, saying there is little doubt that the online service will play host to some extraordinary content. Edge gave Little Big Planet to 9 of 10 also, commenting on the game's dramatic and funny cutscenes created with in-game tools. They also praise its more focused, witty, and imaginative storylines, as well as the new creative tools. Saying in closing, the game represents a dazzling new opportunity for creating deep, diverse, and ingenious gameplay. If you're looking to be creative and create your own game modes, check out Little Big Planet 2.